all right guys welcome back to photographics academy all right so today we're going to be transforming this image from something this flat to something super amazing without wasting much of your time let's quickly get started and before i forget the preset we are going to be using in this video you will be getting it for free so all you need to do is also click on the link in the video description and you will get the link to and you will get the preset so you can apply it on your own outdoor images or your beach images and see how it handles it all right so the first thing i need to do on this image looking at it is that i need to separate my object from my background so i can independently work on the background while i can as well independently work on her skin tone so to do that i'm going to make a selection of my object so once the selection is done i'll right click and go to select inverse make a duplicate of the two right click again and go to layer via cut so we'll have our object separate from the background and our background separate from the object so the first thing i need to do is i need to draw attention to the image that is my object and to do that i need to darken the background there because i don't want to desaturate it so i'm going to darken it down maybe dark, uh, go down a bit or even pick my if you don't want to go down you could just change the blend mode to multiply it will also give you a very natural uh, re reduction in brightness all right so the next thing i want to do is that i want to apply a gradient effect on that background i need something cool so i'm going to go straight to my blues yeah here then i'll pick something uh let's see how this goes change the blend mode to soft light beautiful check for any other blend mode that could do it better Take I love the soft light, so we need to bring it down a bit. Then pick up our brush and reduce it from the floor here. From the seashore. Yeah, just a little bit to bring back a little bit of the original floor. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, so once that is done, look at the before. Look at the after. So you see that it gives us a very beautiful uh effect behind that then the next thing i'm going to do is to apply a color lookup table so let's look for something that will kick up contrast in that back this is beautiful something that will give us some contrast i think i love this one so we need to just tone it down a bit now the next thing to do is to brighten up our skin tone but before we do that we need to also add some colors to her so i'll go to my gradient open up my photographic toning which is inside my legacy gradient. Go to photographic toning. Look for something that will give her a warm skin tone. This is beautiful. Change the blend mode to soft light or even something more darker and contrasty. Let's see. I mean, this looks nice, but I don't want that. I do not want. Ah, uh, gradient map didn't do the job. Let's see what color lookup can do for us. I love this. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Very dark skin tone. So I'm going to make a duplicate of the object. Go to create a mask for it. Go to select color range. So it gives us the selection of our skin. Then we'll use the mask to replace that on the color lookup. So once we open it, you notice that it's just on her body. Look at that. Then of course we need to tone it down. Can even decide changing blend mode. This is good. This is beautiful. So I'm going to try to brighten up her skin tone again. Just her skin tone. Hold my alternate to duplicate this mask. Use it on her. Change it to luminosity. So it doesn't saturate her skin the more. Now change to luminosity. Bring it down a bit. Then still bring this one down a bit. You can check if normal can do a nice job so i think i like what soft light was doing but i need a little bit of contrast on that skin okay look at that this needs to come in a little bit more beautiful but i still feel she's slightly still too dark so i'll go to my gradient one more time let's see if that will do the job legacy gradients go to my photographic toning and pick up the same uh skin tone i picked up before soft light beautiful 
So I'll use the mask to also replace that mask. Then we need to bring it down. So we've been able to bring in brightness into the image. Good. So now I take my background needs to even darken up the more. Let's place this above here. Ah, uh, no. Didn't make sense though. Okay. So we need to bring it up. Beautiful. This is better. So I want to see if this is above. Okay, so basically does not change anything. Does now. Okay. So you see the way we've been able to separate our object. Let me show you the before, the after, the before, the after. So I'm gradually drawing your eyes into the object, not your eyes bouncing around in the whole image. Yeah. So did everything I'm doing, that is the essence of all this toggling on and off that you see me doing here and there. All right, so the next thing we want to apply is our camera raw filter. Like I said, it's going to be a very brief video. All right, so we'll go to our camera raw filter. Then I will load up the preset we're going to be using. So I'll just go to load settings. Okay, so here it is. Beautiful, look at that. So what I did basically, let me show you, was that I increased my highlight a little and added some contrast. Then, of course, toned down the shadows and gave it some warmness. If you feel like bringing down the warmness, you can. But I think I like it the way it is. Then we went to my details and added some sharpness to the image. Look at that. We we'll added some sharpness. Then, of course, my vignette effect. Added a little bit of vignette effect to the image to bring your attention even closer to the center. And this is the final result. So let me show you. The way it was looking when we started. So this is the original image, the before, and this is the after, the before, the after. So all you need to do now is just to retouch your skin and you will have an amazing picture looking at you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one.